Damage caused by the improper handling of reels of wire and cable can cause many problems. To help reduce this risk, this video has been developed to assist in training forklift operators in the proper methods of handling reels of wire and cable. In addition, it will show you how to spot potential damages due to improper handling methods. Reels can be shipped in one of two ways, upright or flopped. At Service Wire, reels up to 1,500 pounds are shipped on their side, or flopped, and reels exceeding 1,500 pounds are shipped in the upright position. If a reel is shipped in the upright position, it should always be left in that position. Upright reels should never be flopped during transportation, loading or unloading, or during the final cable installation process. If at any time an upright reel is flopped, there is potential for damage to the reel or cable, and you run the risk of tangling the wire. When a reel that was shipped upright is flopped, here's what can happen. If you see this type of gouge in your wire, there is a good chance that the reel has been improperly flopped. This is a very common type of damage when this improper handling occurs. While heavier reels are shipped in the upright position, a reel weighing under 1,500 pounds will be shipped in the flopped position and should be handled as follows. The forklift operator slides the two forks up under the bottom of the bottom flange, lifting the reel without having either of the forks near any of the wire. A flopped reel should never be lifted by the top flange. This can not only damage the cable, but the bolts on the top flange may not be able to support the weight of the cable. This is a reel that was lifted improperly. We will rewind the cable to expose the damage. If you have similar damage, check to see how your reels were handled. Service wire goes through many steps to ensure a quality product. To make sure that quality will carry through to its installation, here are some precautions that you should take for every shipment. When you receive a shipment of cable, be sure to have your receiving personnel inspect the reels while they are still in the truck. If they see any potential problems, contact Service Wire. We will send you digital photos of the shipment for comparison. If your shipment matches the photos, proceed to unload the reels. Once unloaded using the proper handling methods, re-inspect the reels completely. Check all sides, the paper wrapping, everything. If everything looks good at that point, sign and accept the shipment. Please note, once the shipment has been accepted, claims for concealed damage must be made within 30 days with the carriers. Beyond the 30 days, you will have no recourse to make a claim. When transferring the reels from the receiving area, be sure to use the same proper handling methods. If at all possible, avoid multiple handling of the reels. For example, if you are installing the wire in your plant, try to arrange a drop at the installation point, rather than unloading in a receiving area, transferring to storage, and then re-handling to the final installation location. While this may not be practical in every case, keep in mind that the fewer times the reels are handled, the less potential there will be for problems to occur. Thank you for viewing our quality procedures for proper reel handling. By following these simple procedures, you can minimize, if not eliminate, the potential for damaged wire or cable. Please feel free to use our video in training for your new operators or as a refresher for existing operators.